Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today is day seven, March 23rd, 2020. And it is in place, in shelter for seven days. And here we are. Thanks for coming back. I'm so happy to get to know you, or hopefully I'll get to know you. And if this is your first time, welcome. And I hope you will be coming back. And I was trying to think, what would I want to talk about today? And I kept going through this and going through that. And you know what? I decided that this is just the two of us at these times. I'll just tell you the truth. I'm a person that believes in the truth and values honesty. And here's my truth. I woke up this morning and everything was so peaceful for a split second. And then you know what? Oh my gosh. I fell down into a hole. I remembered the news that I had heard last night and I just fell into a really bleak period place. And I teach these things and I thought what is going on you know how to work with your emotions and honor them and shift you know the law of focus if you focus on that hole it will go deeper and deeper and deeper I know all of these things and yet I'm raising my hand I have always been one of my clients. I have always studied and researched and learned more and more about how we operate as human beings, how our brain works, how our physiology works, our emotions, our thinking. I've been doing this for nearly 40 years. You'd think I would know this stuff by now. Well, guess what? Knowing something is marvelous. Putting it into action is not always easy. And it's not always easy for me. And I'm guessing that you know a lot of things about self-care and a lot of things about getting out of dark holes and a lot of things about shifting your focus and managing your emotions so that you can have the and that I talk about. You can be scared and you can go on. And I am guessing, like with me this morning, that you have moments. Maybe you're having moments today. Maybe you're having a moment right now. I don't know. And I don't have the perfect point of action. We all have to know and find out and experiment what works best for us so that we can do it on the fly. What worked for me is that when I'm down in that hole, I look at it as a funnel and I am at this big part of the funnel and the world looks big what's going on is big and it's bigger than me i just keep shrinking down and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and that's what happened this morning and then i remembered i have to turn that funnel around and look through the little small part find something that's just little, just for a moment to focus on. And this may sound very trivial to you and 
Ordinarily, when I say it out loud, it sounds very trivial to me. It was a moment that I had yesterday that I thought of that made me smile and maybe kind of chuckle. And here's what happened. I went to Trader Joe's. We were out of bread. We needed some eggs. And I drove up, parked in the parking lot as usual. I felt a little strange to be out of the house. And I looked and there were grocery carts across the main entrance. So if you're facing the store, there's a, I'm not very good. I'll say a five foot, maybe walkway, well, that doesn't matter. Anyway, from the parking lot directly into the store and that was blocked off with grocery cards. And I looked and over to my right when I'm facing the store, was a queue of people spaced six feet apart, stringing down toward the other shops. I thought, wow, okay. And so I walked to the grocery carts and there was a person there from Trader Joe's. And I said, what is my process? And she said, go to the line and then we will move you forward. I thought, okay. So I stood there just a moment because I'm always curious about systems and what works and how people set them up. Because I believe that if we have a system, it's a formula that we can just follow sometimes that helps us get from where we are to where we want to go in the fastest, most efficient way. So I was watching. And what happens is that when your turn comes in the queue, then you walk up, there was a gentleman with a spray can of hand sanitizer, sanitized your hands, pointed to a cart and said, that's been sanitized, you can take that one. And then you, when you finish shopping, you come out the other door and you put your other cart in a different line and so I did that and I was shopping and when I got to the check stand there was also a can of hand sanitizer that you could use and I wiped off my debit card with wiped off my hands as I went out the door then to my left was where I put my used cart. I put it there and as I'm going out the door, there was another gentleman with a spray can of hand sanitizer that sprayed my hands. And I thought, what a marvelous system that they had devised to keep us as safe as possible, to make that safety visible that we didn't have to wonder, did somebody go and wipe off everything? We could see it and we were part of that process, part of their system. And I was very grateful. It was a little strange at first. And then in the grocery store, they had drawn, drawn, they had taped a piece of red tape on the floor which gave six feet between the checkout and the person paying for their groceries to where the first person in line is. And so there was no wondering, there was no trying to figure things out. There was no remembering a new way because the old way is so familiar. And so my moment this morning, I had woken up, fell into, it's not a rabbit hole. I mean, it was a grand canyon of darkness of just 
wondering, what if? Will this ever end? Just, I, I'm not going to walk you through my convoluted thoughts and feelings and emotions. I'm guessing that somewhere along the line you felt that deeper than a rabbit hole feeling and you've wondered how you were going to get out of it and so my offering is what i did and you can try it if it works lovely if it doesn't you know toss it away find your own way it only matters that you've got a ladder that fits for you to get out of that hole when you need to. Mine was something that was frivolous, that was in the moment, that was totally incidental. It just brought a reference of normalcy and connection when the checker was doing my groceries, I noticed, oh my gosh, her fingernails were gorgeous. And I just complimented her on the color of the nail polish. And I happened to like nail polish and that part of the girly nature of myself. And she looked and she said, and soon I'm going to have to cut them off short so I can polish them themselves because the salons are closed. And for one split met, just one split moment, I was able to disconnect from all the things that I saw in my funnel bigness. And I was able to look down that little teeny tiny part of the funnel and find one moment, one eyelash of a moment that had something that felt sane and predictable and secure. So when she told me that she was going to have to cut off her nails and do them herself, I looked and I said, me too. And I have to do my own hair. Aren't we suffering? And she just grinned and we both laughed and she said, yeah, we're really suffering. And you know, it was just that moment, that moment of just almost intimate connection of a real normal part of life. One that I'm hoping we all get back to whether your form of nail and, and hair service is something else, whatever your form of those little things of normalcy that we used to take for granted. Remember those? We just make an appointment or we just go here, we just jump in our car or run out to the door, whatever. And for just that split moment when we looked at each other and grinned and laughed about our nails and how pathetic we were suffering. There was just a, a lovely, lovely feeling of life being able to get back the way it was before. I know that in a certain way, our lives will never change. These stories we tell, what we're living right now, are etched in our mind, in our cells, in our memories, in our emotions. And yet, I'm wishing for you today, one moment, one eyelash, one little tidbit of normalcy that you can find in your life Watch for it, watch for it, let it be. I know these are serious times and sometimes having a contrast to that seriousness just for a second 
helps us keep going and helps us get out of our hole so that we can keep marching forward, be the leaders, be our best, and still be human. All right, find that moment for yourself, I hope, and know that those tiny little moments of normalcy are part of self-care. They help us keep us going. They nourish it for whatever is to come. Thank you for coming. And remember that you are always writing a story and the very best you can write that story so that it's one that you want to live and love so much that you want to share it. Thanks. Please leave your comments below. Let me know you're there. I want this to be a conversation, a dance between the two of us. And thanks again. Tomorrow will be day eight. I will be here. I hope I see you. I'll look forward to it. Bye for now.